everybody. I'm just sharing. I'm in the sharing mode today. Uh, how are you, Susan? Hey, good, good. All right. Uh, all right. So, okay. All right. Um, give me a minute here. Mm, all right. I'm just sharing. Okay. Do, do, do. There we go. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, mm. Okay, give me a minute here. Uh, okay, all right. Mm. All right. Okay, so. Okay, so anyways, yeah, all right. Um, do, do, do. All right, so yeah, hey everybody, how's it going? So, anyways, yeah, uh, this is Jim, Big Jim Vlogcast Live. Uh, yeah, uh, and we will, I'll be with you shortly. I'm just sharing a few things here. Um, hmm, okay. All right. Um, <laughs> all right, so. Mm. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so anyways, thank you for watching. Hello, say hi. Um, I got to switch into the page here. Uh, Big Jim Vlogcast Live. All right, so anyways. Um, okay, so. Um, all right. Hello, everyone. All right. So, hmm, do do okay, hmm, hmm, all right, rock and metal, uh, old school wrestling, uh, all right, uh, okay, so yeah, hello everyone, hmm, mm hmm, 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 all right. So I'm going to switch back. Let's see. All right. So Jim Brown. All right. Anyways. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just see in there. All right. So, okay. All right. There we are. All right. So, <clears throat> Okay. All right. Mm. All right. All right. Okay. All right, everybody. Um, Hello, welcome to Big Jim Vlogcast Live, uh, episode 4.0, uh, episode 200, or no, Free Big Jim Vlogcast Live version 4.0, episode 234. It is Sunday, October 9th, uh, 2022, and it's a, we are in the middle of a Thanksgiving weekend. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so, all right, um, all right, so... Good, 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 good. It is. All right, I'll post on this disclaimer. I may say a few bad, dirty words like shit, damn, screw, the F word, you know. Uh, go get a box of Kleenex. Go to your safe space. Um, you might hear that a lot tonight, so just warning you. All right, so who we are. I'll give you my basic in introduction here. Um, now, welcome to Big Jim Vlogcast Live version 4.0, episode 234. Uh, airing on Facebook Live uh, almost every Sundays, the occasional Friday, the occasional Saturday night, or once in a while, a wine o'clock Wednesday. So, <coughs> if you're here, um, you know, say hi. Uh, we're in our fourth year. We debuted back in November of 2018. We based out of Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Uh, Big Jim Vlogcast Live does craft beer reviews. Over 200 craft beers reviewed so far, plus this one tonight. 
It come, it's called Another Round. It comes to us from the Three Sheets Brewing Company in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. I will open that in a bit. Um, we accompany that with like a good spirit, like uh, tonight is Crown Royal Vanilla. And we've got a good Rocky Patel cigar here. So, um, all right. So anyways, uh, let's see here. Okay, well, anyways, I'll share this. Uh, and a good Rocky Patel cigar. So, mm. All right. Okay, we got that going on. Um, okay. So anyways, yeah. Um, Big Jim Blogcast Live keeps you uh, informed with local events near you, countdowns, birthday shout-outs to our friends. We talk about classic TV, like spin-offs, uh, one, two, three, it's season wonders, canceled TV shows before their time, like 70s, 80s, and 90s. Um, all right. Um Talking about 70s, 80s, 90s hard rock, like the one-hit wonders and classic albums, classic guitar duos, uh, and all that. Um, mm, classic sci-fi, like uh, droids, ships, weapons, um, aliens, uh, minor characters from Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, Battlestar Galactica, etc. Um, this Week in Van Halen History, uh, sports. We've got hockey, baseball, football, UFC, basketball, NASCAR. But this year, it's a good, we talk about hockey card heroes. Um, I'll light this up some more. Um, all right. So, hmm. <coughs> all right. So, you know, um, Classic 70s, 80s, 90s movies, like sequels, prequels, etc. This year, random gong solos. All right. So, um, yeah. So, uh, that's Big Jim Blogcast Live in a nutshell. Turn us on, tune in, enjoy the show. Let's keep it fun, light on here. No politics. Politics and religion are off limits. So, let's keep it cheers. Respectful. So cheers, everybody. And I want to remind you that Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. Um, you can share us all over live on Facebook. Plus, we're on uh, these uh, audio listening platforms like Spotify, Anchor FM, my own YouTube channel. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, anyways, yeah, there you go. All right. Mm, okay. We're, all right. So, mm, all right. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. <coughs> all right. So tonight, all right, I'll start you guys off. Um, let's see here. Okay. So anyways, uh, let me share this some more. Um, to, to, to share to a group. All right. Mm. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. Where do we go? Where do we go? Ah, come on. Mm. All right. There we go. Oh, man. Now I got to start all over again. So, oh, no, I don't. Anyways. Um, all right. What do we got here? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay. All right. Mm. All right. Okay, there we are. We're back. Um, all right. Uh, share to a group. All right. So, mm, share. Uh, let's see. Mm, all right. So, mm, mm, all right. Uh, mm, okay. Um, okay. Mm. Mm. 80s retro station there we go all right so anyways okay all right we're back all right so anyways yeah welcome to big gin blogcast live um we will okay our craft beer for tonight um and 
It is accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, all right. So anyways, uh, yeah. Now we're going to give you a crappy review. I'm going to open that in a minute. Um, so, mm, all right. So anyways, we're going to open that in a minute. Um, I'm going to give you some like birthday shout outs, countdowns, local events. We'll talk about uh, the late Loretta Lynn's movie, Coal, Miner, Coal Miner's Daughter, her hit movie, and we'll remember Loretta Lynn. Uh, season 6 of Magnum P.I., Dr. Evazon and Pondo Baba from Star Wars. Uh, uh, Japanese pro wrestling legend Antonio Inoki. Our hockey car hero, Kyle Brodziak. Our classic albums, Poison, like Look What the Cat Dragged In. Rockstar Plane Crashes, John Denver, This Week in Van Halen History, and we remember Eddie Van Halen. So, um, yeah. So, all right. Uh, here we go. Uh, dude. Okay. All right. So, I got a good cigar here. Um, all right. Uh, okay. Let me... <laughs> All right, so it's a cla it's a Rocky Patel cigar for these uh, out there in uh, in TV land out there. So, anyways, um, yeah. Uh, so all that um, plus happy thing. I want to first off. I want to wish everybody out there a happy Thanksgiving. So, it, it I've had a I've had like great some great Thanksgiving dinner dinners there. I'll give like. Uh, um, a lot of people there shouts out for making great Thanksgiving dinners. Um, so yeah, uh, and we're in the middle of a Thanksgiving long weekend. Um, so anyways, tonight's beer it's gonna come at you. This, all right. Now, this beer is called Another Round Light Lager. It is by the Soggy and Golf Club, brewed by Three Sheets Brewing in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. So here we go. I oh yeah, I've got one of their their glasses here. Three sheets brewing, right on. So here we go. Uh, look how that pours. Look at look at the lightness of it. So as uh, I say this, I am trying this beer for the very first time. Um, I do give it a rating out of ten later on the blogcast. So if that, so if you're still here an hour from now, it's got to grow on me during the blogcast. So here we go. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. When they say light, they mean light. I gotta tell you, this really goes down really smoothly. So yeah, um, all right. Three Sheets Brewing Company, um, fastened it off with Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, good good stuff there. Um, let's see. I will. Uh, all right, all right. Let me share this. Send in Messenger here. Um, mm. Uh, Saugeen Golf. There we go. All right. Um, and then three sheets. There we go. Three sheets brewing. Three sheets brewing. Send. There we are. All right. So and send. There we are. So, all right. Mm. All right. Good, 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 good. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, we're going to get to some uh, birthday shout-outs here. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, all right. So, but first off, like I said in the beginning of the blog, Gas, um, we've got our craft beer out of the way. It's another round light lager by... The Three Sheets Brewing Company in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. But this blogcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Anchor FM. I got my own YouTube blogcast, uh, YouTube channel, and all these audio listening platforms that you listen to. And I want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, all the like uh, um, chain reaction, pop culture, the classic rock, the Van Halen groups, the craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, sci-fi, pro wrestling, classic TV and movies. Right on. You guys rock. So, all right. So, anyways. All right. What do we got here? So, all right. So, anyways. Um, yeah. So, let's get into some happy birthdays here. 
All right. So, all right. Before, but before we do that, I will. Uh, okay. I'll do a couple of more shares. Mm. All right. All right. So, do, do, do okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Classic television. Uh, all right. Classic action TV. Magnum PI. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, there we are. All right, so anyways, yeah, here we go. We got a few more there. Um, all right, so birthday shout outs. They are gonna go out to, oh, what do we got here? All right, boom. Okay, from October 3rd to October 17th, uh, or no, mm, October, mm, all right, October 3rd to October 9th today okay so i don't know where i got the 17th um astrid ashley crystal babensky janet camisso Teresa gregg chris valenga brad harris dana burke johnston joanne fryer ingrid lightbody jen marsh mark curry john white joy smith melanie reed langlois uh corey cote and megan o'dwyer happy thanksgiving and happiest of birthdays to you guys all right All right, happy birthday, everybody. Um, all right, so there we go. Okay, and so. Hmm. <laughs> all right, so yeah, um, and we will get some countdowns and local events. Hmm. 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 <coughs> Please, tune us up. Okay, good cigar here. It's a Rocky Patel. Um, Connecticut, uh, very tasty. Um, all right. <clears throat> all right. Mm. All right. So there we go. Um, okay. So our craft beer, and I'm accompanying it by Crown Royal Vanilla tonight. Uh, goes down really smooth. Mm. Mm. All right. This is called... It's called Another Round, um, and it is by the Sogging Golf Club, but it is brewed by Three Sheets Brewing in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada, which I had the pleasure of uh, visiting back in the summer, um, mm, trying it for the very first time. I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast, but um, um, if you want to give it a rating later on with me, see if my ear number matches up with mine, but for now... Mm. It's a very light lager, crisp, clean tasting beer. Um, again, there's their glass. Um, another round light lager by the Sogging Golf Club in cooperation with the Three Sheets Brewing Company in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. So, um, yeah. So this beer, I, and when I do craft beer so uh, reviews, I just don't go. Oh, this craft beer is very much like very tasty, and it's like. I, I don't go all fancy. I go with my gut. So, anyways, yeah. And happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Mm. Mm. All right. Good beer so far. Nice, pleasant aftertaste. Goes down smoothly. Uh, pairing it with, like, a Rocky Patel cigar and um, uh, mm. Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. Mm. Like I said, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, all right. So, anyways. Uh, all right. So, we're going to get to some uh, countdowns now. All right. So, here we go. Um, hmm. All right. Halloween is 22 days away. Christmas is 77 days away. Boxing Day is 78 days away. Uh, Remembrance Day is 33 days away. Um, 
um, daylight savings time, that when you, you turn your clocks back, that's November 6th. That happens, okay, Saturday, November 6th. And winter time, just remember when you're enjoying all this nice warm weather, winter time is only 73 days away. God, how depressing is that? So, um, if you're here, if you're here, if you're watching, tune in. And how you doing? All right, I know there's a blogcast party at Sue's going on. All right, ain't no party like a blogcast party like at Sue's. All right, cheers. So right on. All right, so. Mm, okay. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> all right. So, all right, and feel free, feel free to share this blogcast all over Facebook, because I did. Um, all right, uh, let's see. So, anyways, yeah, um, like I said. So, all right, and tonight's craft beer, before we get going, before we do some local events here, accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. It, um, mm, mm, mm. All right, so it is called... Another round light lager. So, it, uh, there you go. By the Sogging Golf Club. And what does it say on the back here? Uncompromising, uncomplicated, uncommonly good. They're close to the mark. You're holding in your hand a Sogging Golf Club's own signature light lager. We've sourced a brew that represents our club and our members. Honest, easygoing, and friendly. Brewed fresh locally with simple ingredients. This beer, like your drives, is so good it won't touch the sides. Have a great game. Cheers. And so, all right. Mm. Mm. All right. Oh, yeah. And it's a crisp, delightful beer so far. Um, goes down smooth, easy. Um, no unpleasant aftertaste to it. Mm. All right. Well, let me just top that up here. Damn. It's on its way to becoming an instant classic. I don't know. I don't know about that. Will it? Won't it? You never know. So, anyways, all right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, anyways, mm, we're going to get to some local events now. Um, now, for the past couple of years, local events have started to come back. Uh, but because of COVID, the buzzwords, there were no local events. The buzzwords were hiatus, rescheduled, canceled, postponed. Um, all right. So, here we go. Uh, Judas Priestess, Saturday, November 12th, 2022 at Ruster. In Sarnia, it's an all-female ba tribute band to Judas Priest. www.ticketscene.ca. Um, Saturday, October fifteenth, twenty twenty-two, seven thirty p.m. at Ruster is Sandman. They're in a they're a Metallica tribute band. They are officially licensed by Metallica, so you know it's going to be good if they're officially licensed by Metallica, the real Metallica. www.ticketscene.ca. October fifteenth. Um, for, to, all the way through the 29th on the Saturday night, there's Saturday night dances, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. at Sarnia Legion downstairs. $7 cover charge, it's classic rock and country, 286 Front Street North. Um, mm, Saturday, November 19th, 8 p.m., uh, Killer Dwarfs, 40 years still standing tour at Ruster, www.ticketscene.ca. Uh, Saturday, November 5th at 8 p.m., have a cigar. Tribute to Point, it is a, a tribute to Pink Floyd at Ruster, www.ticketscene.ca. Um, mm, all right. Friday, October 14th to October 16th is the Sarnia Psychic and Crystal Fair at the Quality, Quality in Sarnia, in, in Sarnia, 751 Christina Street. Friday, 2 till 10 p.m., Saturday, 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. Sunday, 11 p.m. till 6 p.m. $10 entry gets you in all weekend. They're psychics, mediums, astrologers. Um, so if you're curious, go. So Saturday, October 22nd, 4 p.m. is Fright Fest in the Village. Um, at Mitten Village, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. at Moz Variety. Thursday, October 27th, 7.30 p.m. is the Rolling Stones Tribute Band at Imperial Theater Sarnia. Go to the Imperial Theater's like uh, Facebook page for more details. Saturday, October 29th, 8 p.m. Uh, at Black Gold Brewery in Petrolia is the Halloween party. Co there's going to be prizes for the best costume uh, and lots of craft beer there. Black Gold Brewery, 
best little uh, craft brewery in Petrolia there. Um, so, yeah. Um, mm. Friday, November 4th, 7.30 p.m., 89 Next, uh, the band at Sarnia Imperial City Brewhouse. Again, a, a great little, like, uh, um, craft brewery there, Sarnia Imperial City. Um, Saturday, November 12th, our boys, Chain Reaction. you got to give it for Chain Reaction, Glenn McKinnon and Chain Reaction. They're also going to be at the uh, Sarnia Imperial, Imperial City Brewhouse in Sarnia. So, and they're a great band. God, I saw them. Um, with Destroyer, the past two times on the on a Duke cruise, and with Destroyer uh, it, it, earlier in the summer, Dirt Cheap is an ACDC tribute band. Fe February eighteenth, twenty twenty three, um, Saturday, February eighteenth, twenty twenty three, uh, seven p.m. at Jeannie Gordon Hall in Wallaceburg. Twenty two twenty dollars per person. Right on. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, okay. So there you go. There. Are, that's on. That's what's on tap in and around near you. If you live near Sarnia, uh, Chatham, Kent, Wallaceburg area, right on. Big Jim Blogcast Live does go worldwide too. So I want to give my shouts out to everybody else watching in Europe, Japan, um, the the states. Um, Australia, right on. So, anyways, there we go. So, oh yeah. All right. So, mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, anyways, yeah. Mm. All right. So, mm. okay. So it is. This is. This is Thanksgiving weekend. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. This is Big Jim's Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 234, Sunday, October 9th, 2022. Um, as I want to remind everybody that I will, th throughout the blogcast, this blogcast is not spam. The audio version goes live um, on uh, all sorts of these audio pla uh, listening platforms we listen to your podcast to. Spotify, Anchor, and all these, the rest of them. I've even got my own YouTube channel, uh, Big Jim's Blogcast Live, YouTube. I'm um, just reading this like, right here. So, all right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, and I want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, um, especially Sarnia Rocks, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro classic 80s groups, all the uh, classic rock, Van Halen, uh, hair metal groups, craft beer, cigars, sci fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, Blogspot, uh, classic TV and movies. Um, yeah. Magnum P.I., Loretta Lynn, John Denver. All right. So, yeah. Like us, share it, subscribe to us. All right. Here we go. So, all right. Mm. 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 <coughs> all right. So, yeah. Mm. Okay. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Um, so, mm. okay. So we're in the middle of a long, our last long weekend of the of the year, actually for 2022. Um, and as I'm not mistaken, went to our we have three more blogcasts before we take a break for uh, most of November and December. So, anyways, all right. So our craft beer for tonight. I'm chasing it down with like uh, Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, I should have opened this. All right. Well, all right. Well, but I didn't. So, anyways. Mm. All right. Our craft beer for tonight it is called mm, Another Round Light Lager uh, by the Sogging Golf Club, brewed by uh, Three Sheets Brewery in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. Um, mm. Mm. Good tasting beer. I'm trying it for the very first time tonight. Um, as I gotta say, first impressions goes down smoothly, no unpleasant aftertaste to it. Um, it, uh, um, yeah, so whether it's a good spring, summer, or fall beer, I'll let you know. Um, mm, mm. but yeah, damn good, damn good beer so far. Gonna be like a, almost an instant classic for the for Big Jim Blogcast Live. Um, 
stay tuned like for the rest of the blogcast. Um, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on, so if your number matches up with mine, feel free to throw it a number later on. Mm. So, yeah. All right. So, anyways, we've got our classic movie on tap. Um, give me a few minutes. Give me a second here. Mm. All right. There we go. Got her off right there. All right. So, we can have access to more of this good stuff. All right. So... Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. So anyways, we've got our movie for tonight. Um, it is called Coal Miner's Daughter. And it is... It was released March 7th, 1980. And if it... Uh, um, you already know, it's the biography of Loretta Lynn. The late Loretta Lynn who pa er, passed away... Um, hmm. so this, just this past week, um, so, yeah, hmm. all right, so it was released March 7th, 1980, the cast was Sissy, Sissy Spacek as Loretta Lynn, Tommy Lee Jones, uh, there's the cast right there, uh, Tommy Lee, a very young Tommy Lee Jones in his first movie, Beverly Lee Angel as Patsy Klein. there's the real Loretta Lynn with her husband, uh, Doolittle Lynn. Uh, with Sissy Spacek and uh, Tommy Lee Jones, um, and there, there she is, right there. So, all right, um, all right. So, anyways, the plot, like 1945, 13-year-old um, Loretta Lynn is one of eight children by uh, Ted Wells, a Van Leer uh, coal miner, running her fam uh, raising his family in. Uh, Butcher Hollow, Kentucky, uh, age 15, Loretta marries 22-year-old Doolittle Lynn, Doolittle Lynn uh, mm, becoming a mother of four by the uh, time she's 19. The family moves to Washington State, where Dew works in the like uh, forest industry, and Loretta sings part-time at honky-tonk bars and makes an appearance on the radio. Uh, when she turns 25, Zero Records own owner Norm Beverly uh, here's Loretta Singh, offers her one of his, some studio time, um, cuts her first single, I'm a, I'm a Honky Tonk Girl, it becomes a hit, her and Dew, uh, go on a tour of, uh, radio stations across the South, her single, uh, offers her a spot on the Grand Old Opry, now her single, uh, unexpectedly becomes a hit, um, mm. Uh, she, she's offered a spot on the Grand Old Opry in 1961. From there on, she develops a friendship with the late Patsy Cline. Patsy dies in a plane crash in March of 1963. The next few years are followed by extensive touring, trying to keep her family and marriage together. Um, she suffers a nervous breakdown, takes a year off at her ranch, and then launches a successful comeback. So... About this film, now, I saw this film, it, it's not a bad, it's, it's an excellent movie. Um, Sissy Spacek does an excellent job of, like, uh, she sung her own, she's, like, um, Sissy Spacek uh, sung her own songs, like, sung Loretta Lynn songs. Didn't use a guest vocalist or anything, didn't use, um, um, hmm. didn't use, like, any studio tricks, but just sung her own, sang it her way. Um, now, Loretta Lynn personally chose to, to uh, Sissy Spacek to play her, and even though Loretta Lynn wasn't like even familiar with like uh, with her with her movie with her with Sissy Spacek the the actress, um, real life uh, country singers Roy Acuff, Minnie Pearl, and Ernest Tubb all appear as themselves. Um, like I said, Coal Miner's Daughter was Tommy Lee Jones' first film, um, and. Actually, Sissy Spacek was nominated for a Best Actress Award at the night was nominated for a Best Actress Award at the 1983 Academy Awards and won so for her portrayal of Loretta Lynn. So there's the real life Loretta Lynn. There's like uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Sissy Spacek, Loretta Lynn, and Doolittle Lynn side by side. Um, all right, and there you are. There's the real life Loretta Lynn. Um, all right, I just gotta hold on here. Um, I'll just see when she's she passed. Okay. Hmm. 
Low Redolin. All right. Um, all right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, was. Okay. Yeah, she passed away uh, just this past Tuesday, October 4th, um, in Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, you know, in the U.S. So, hmm. All right. Okay. So, back there. Um, hmm. All right, so here we go. All right, so anyways, yeah, okay. And I posted several of um, the movie, I posted the movie's trailer um, and several clips from the movie on my blogcast page and my Facebook page, so like it, look for it. Um, yeah, and if you ever get a chance, this movie's like really cool to watch. So, all right, mm. all right, so. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, anyways, um, I want to do like a uh, three gong salute for Miss Loretta Lynn, you know, who passed away this just this past Tuesday. There you go. Rest in peace, Miss Lynn. So, anyways, there. Mm. All right. So. Mm. 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 Okay. All right. So thank you for watching tonight. Uh, if you're here, say hello. Um, all right. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 234. Uh, Sunday, October 9th, 2022. We're in the middle of, a, of our last long weekend of 2022. Happy Thanksgiving weekend, everybody. I hope you... Had enough to eat. I certainly did. So, with some great TV, some great Thanksgiving dinners here, um, and yeah. So we've got like our. Uh, we're gonna get into Magnum PI season six in a minute here. I've got it on like uh, the TV. Um, so, mm, all right. So, anyways, yeah, and uh, our craft beer for tonight, and I'm chasing it down with like uh, Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, all right. Mm. Oh yeah, our craft beer for tonight it is called another round light lager, and it I got their glass here. It is by it is by the Soggy Golf Club, a brewed by Three Sheets Brewing Company in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Trying it for the very first time. Um, this beer is a good beer. Um, no unpleasant aftertaste. Goes down smoothly it's light um, it does belong under the golf course mm. Mm. yeah and uh, all right so I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast so if you're still here uh, throw it a number see if it matches up with mine mm. Mm. oh yeah really it's gonna grow on me it's got to grow on me but good beer let's see our notification for today all right, what do we got here? All right, so anyways, um, yeah, so I want to remind everybody that uh, all through the blogcast, this blogcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on, uh, uh, we are on, uh, goes out later on uh, Spotify, Anchor FM. I've got my own on YouTube, on like uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live YouTube channel. And all these audio listening platforms, you listen to your podcast. So right on. So there you go. Mm. All right. I want to give shouts out to everybody watching the Sarnia Port Elgin group, especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Uh, Chain Reaction, great band. Um, all the like uh, uh, pop culture, 80s classic retro groups, um, nostalgia groups, all the, the hard rock, hair metal, Van Halen groups, the craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, sci-fi. All the pro wrestling groups, all the blog spot, classic TV and movies, Magnum PI, right on. You guys rock. And so, anyways, as we get into, um, all right. Oh yeah, I got a good cigar here. Hmm. 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 Mm. All right. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, all right. 
Okay, sorry about that. Just went out there for a momentarily. Um, yeah, so as we get into Magnum PI here, I've got the sixth, it's the sixth season of Magnum PI. Mm. <coughs> all right, so, anyways, all right, all right, little gong solo there. We have the complete sixth season of Magnum PI. So, anyways, yes. All right, now 21 episodes. The sixth season of Magnum P.I. aired from September 26, 1985 to April 10th of 1986. And it appears that Magnum is in a little bit of trouble this season. Um, yeah, ratings-wise, but we'll get to that in a minute. So uh, guest stars for, Ma uh, for season six, Lee Purcell. Okay, the cast outright, Tom Selleck is Matt Thomas Magnum. Roger E. Mosley as uh, T.C. Calvin. Uh, here's the cast. Mm. All right, so. Okay, here is the principal cast for Magnum P.I. You've got Roger E. Mosley as T.C. Calvin, Tom Selleck as Thomas Magnum, uh, John Hillerman as Jonathan Higgins, and Larry Manetti as Rick Wright. Um, so, yeah, so let's get into that, the sixth season of Magnum P.I. So... All right. So anyways, there you go. Um, hmm. All right. Guest stars for season six, Lee Purcell. Um, hmm. Lee Purcell, Pete Davidson, Cynthia Sykes, Candy Clark, Bob Miner, David Huddlestone, Paul Burke, Jeff Yeager, Clive Revel, Tate Donovan, Darlene Carr, Clue Gulliger, Cassie Yates, Julia Montgomery. Now, my favorite episodes of Magnum, um, <clears throat> Deja Vu, the uh, season season premiere opener, part one and two. Uh, the Karma Wins, Round and Round, Going Home, um, Blood and Honor, uh, Rapture. I never wanted to go to France anyway. <laughs> God. Um, all right. So, and here we have like All Thieves on Deck, Find Me a Rainbow, Photo Play. Uh, plus a bonus episode of Little Girl Who. Uh, and that'll be, like, held over. Um, so, anyways, yeah, they they were all, being as, as a, being as a fan of my, I am of, like, Magnum P.I., um, so, there we go. Now, CBS, CBS, they put Magnum P.I., um, they debuted Magnum P.I. on Thursday, September 26, 1985, in the uh, Thursday night time slot, 8 p.m. till... All right. Here's where they, they put it. Here's the network TV schedule. You've got Magnum P.I. You've got... Um, all right. Opposite of... Do, 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 do. Opposite of Magnum P.I., you have The Cosby Show. All right, and you have you have the Cosby Show, you've got Family Ties, um, all on NBC, and you've got The Fall Guy in its last season on ABC, all competing with like. Hmm. All right, so yeah, there you go. There's a complete primetime TV schedule. So, all right. So with that, mm, all right. So with that, um, Magnum PI, yeah. So anyways, this is the season that Magnum PI's ratings take a deep dive, okay? Um, let's see here, yeah, you've got like, when they were up against, 
they were up against the Cosby Show. There's Claire Huxtable, and the Fall Guy. There's Lee Majors and, and his crew. Um, so, but like I said, the Fall Guy wasn't that much competition for Magnum. Uh, what was the real competition was um, the, the Cosby Show mm, and Family Ties. So, all right. So, anyways. Mm -hmm. All right. So, anyways, um, yeah. Like I said, this was the season that uh, Magnum PI's ratings take a deep, deep dive. Mm. Mm. And by what I mean by deep dive is, in previous season they were ranked at number fifteen. Now they drop. Now Magnum drops all the way down to number forty-six. Uh, with a rank with a 14.6 share and that's like half of its viewers were gone like that's about 15 million viewers compared to last season which was like 30 million so the Cosby show and family ties were ranked number one at this point um, Cosby had a 33 share Cosby was ranked number one with 33 share and that's 51 million viewers and family ties which also was a smash hit that is 30 share that was ranked number two. That had 44 million viewers to it. So, um, mm. both shows were dominating that Thursday night time slot, like kicking Magnum's ass. So, um, this season was most likely the beginning of should we keep Magnum? Should we, like, CBS was like, should we keep Magnum? Should we, like, reschedule it next season? Like uh, put it in a different time slot next season, so um, we'll well we'll know next season. So, mm. but mm. <coughs> but you have but there were still quality episodes in Magnum PI um, this season, like uh, season opener. They went like in um, like uh, doo -doo -doo. okay, disc one, Deja Vu, part one and two. Uh, Magnum and Higgins travel to London on urgent business and cover a mystery, then settling connections to Magnum's dreams. Holy shit. So, um, it, uh, and the season finale, photo play, this picture's not pretty, but when Magnum's chance meeting with a photographer leads him to an embezzler who is believed to be dead. All right, so there it is. Magnum P.I. season six. Um, all right, so... There you go. There's Magnum's competition, the Fall Guy, um, uh, the Cosby Show, Claire Huxtable there. Um, there's our, our buddies, the cast of Magnum P.I. All right, so. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, I posted several clips of season six from my on my blogcast page and my Facebook page so uh, what do we got here so anyways yeah all right so look look for them watch them um, mm. Mm. all right so mm, okay all right so all right moving on. Now, I'm going to remind, okay, like tonight's craft beer, accompanied by uh, Crown Royal Vanilla. You can see it over here. So, um, oh, yeah, here's the old Bi Big Jim Blogcast Live Cup. So, photo, great for those mornings. So, you know, um, all right. Anyways, mm, mm. all right. So, tonight's craft beer, it is called... Another round light lager by the Saugeen Golf Club, brewed by Three Sheets Brewing in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada, which I had the pleasure, I got one of their glasses here, which I had the pleasure of visiting this past summer in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. So, mm, I said I'm trying it for the very first time. It's a crisp, clean, light lager beer. Um, no unpleasant aftertaste. Suitable. It's a good spring, summer, and fall beer. Now, and it's good for the, the golf course. Right off the bat, it is good for the golf course. Um, if you're still with me in the, the last half of the show, I throw out a number. I do I give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. Um, 
throw it out there, see if it uh, matches up with mine. Mm. I brought back up. I brought another one. So there you go. Um, all right. So as I'm reminding everybody that this broadcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast. Got my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube. Um, all right, I want to give thanks, shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, especially Sarnia Rocks, um, the Chain Reaction, Glenn, you guys rock, um, all the like uh, pop culture, uh, 80s retro classic nostalgia groups on Facebook, pop like uh, the classic rock, hair metal, um, uh, Van Halen groups, all the craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, sci-fi, pro wrestling, uh, blog spots, uh, classic TV and movies, Magnum PI, right on, you guys rock, so yeah, mm. and happy Thanksgiving everybody, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, episode 234, Sunday, October 9th, and so some of us may have to work tomorrow, it is the last long weekend of 2022, so got a nice cigar going it is a Rocky Patel Connecticut classic mm. Mm. <coughs> all right so okay now we get to our from okay from all right the Star Wars character encyclopedia all right we have mm, we have this gentleman right here. Um, Dr. Uh, Eva, Dr. Cornelius Evazan. So, and if you don't, uh, all right. So, anyways. All right. And Pondo Baba. Now, there's like, uh, there you go. There's, mm, all right. There's Pondo, uh, uh, there, there's Evazan and uh, Pondo Baba. Now, all right, so anyways, okay, so, mm, okay, so anyways, um, mm, all right, so anyways, Dr. Cornelius Evazan, he's a human male from the planet Alsican, he was a promising cosmetic surgeon until he was corrupted by madness and began practicing creative surgery. Um, on his patients and leaving them horribly scarred and disfigured. So, uh, he's nicknamed the Mutilator of Milvane. The law caught up with him and he had death sentences in, death, and he had death sentences in 12 systems. His own face was hideously disfigured in a battle with a bounty hunter. He was rescued by Pondo Baba, all right, this guy, an Aquilish, and they partnered together and became pirates smuggling spice for Jabba the Hutt. Now, all right. So, anyways, now Doctor Evazan and Pondo Baba, they traveled to the planet Tatooine to uh, carry out their illegal surgeries and experiments. They were also regular patrons at Chalmers Cantina. This was the bartender at at, at uh, there we go. Nice, the bartender there. The bartender were. Um, now, these guys were also in attendance too. Um, all right, there you go. Mm. And also this guy, too. All right. So anyways, now, all right. So mm. they, uh, they, were, they, like I said, they were rare can patrons at, at the cantina in the Moss Eisley spaceport. They often got drunk and caused trouble in the cantina. Um, mm. All right. And so... Uh, Pondo Baba, drunk, bored, decided to pick a fight with a young farm boy, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> All right. Um, who sat beside them at the bar. Uh, Baba assured Skywalker uh, that he would be like uh, an easy... He, he thought Skywalker would be an easy target. And Evazan, Dr. Evazan quickly escalated the argument. Uh Evazan hurled Luke into a nearby table. Um, uh, Baba mm, 
Mm, okay, yeah, you know the rest of the story here. Uh, now, mm, now, Ben Kenobi, who was with Luke, offered to buy them, like, buy them drinks to ease the tension. So, both uh, Pondo and Vazan drew their blasters, but Kenobi was faster. He cut off uh, Baba's right arm with his lightsaber and cut open uh, Ivan's chest with a deep slash with his lightsaber. Now, Baba, uh, Baba, or uh, Pondo, Baba, and Evazan quickly left the cantina. Um, uh, Evazan tried to reattach Baba's arm, but nearly killed him after the after the uh, operation failed. So, what happens? What happened to Babo and Panda afterwards is a mystery. I don't. I I didn't get that too far into the movie or their their lives. But yeah, here's our classic Star Wars minor characters, Doctor Evazan and Pondo Baba. Now, I posted a little like um, the uh, origins of uh, the backstory, a more complete backstory uh, of of Doctor Evazan and Pondo Baba on my Facebook page and my blogcast page. So like, look for that. Um, it, uh, so yeah, look for that. Um, and so there you go. Um, all right, let me put these back up here. All right. Hmm. Okay, yeah, they weren't nice guys. They targeted Luke Skywalker. Um, ben Kenobi offered them to buy them a drink. He's not worth your trouble. Come on, let's all have like, you know, ah, I've got the death sentence in the 12 systems. And so he'll be careful, you'll be dead. Um, so the reason that the, the operation failed because a, light, a lightsaber cauterizes the wounds. Like if a lightsaber cuts off your limb, It'll be like, uh, it basically like is seared shut. All, you know, it's just one big, it'll be a stump. No blood, no, well, I mean, I did see blood in the movie, but, you know, so anyways, there you go. And it, like I said, I posted a more complete backstory of like uh, Pondo Baba and Dr. Evazon on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> All right, damn good cigar. Is a Connecticut Rocky Patel cigar. Um, All right, and I got it at the Riverport uh, or Riverfront uh, Cigars in Sarnia. And so, mm, all right. So, anyways, if you're here, say hi. Uh, all right, boom, yeah. All right, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version. 4.0 episode 234. It is Sunday, October 9th, 2022. Thanksgiving weekend. Um, last long weekend of 2022 uh, for a lot of us. So uh, until Christmas. Um, anyways, yeah. So uh, my craft beer for tonight. I'm chasing it down with Crown Royal Vanilla over here. Mm. 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 Our craft beer for tonight is called Another round, uh, all right, called Another Round Light Lager by the Brewed by, uh, well, it's by the Soggy Golf Club, but brewed by Three Sheets Brewing Company in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. Well, hmm. trying it for the very first time on this blogcast. So far, so good. It, uh, I got one of their, like, glasses, Three Sheets Brewing. Um, very light-tasting lager. It's a spring, summer, and fall beer. It's great for when you're out in the golf course, of course. Like, I mean, um, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast, so if you're still with me, uh, you throw it a number, see if it, like, uh, matches up with mine. So, mm, a damn good tasting beer. Matter of fact, I think I will top this up. Uh, mm, so, all right. So, anyways, mm, all right. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Look at how that pours. Nice, smooth. Okay, so mm, careful with that. Um, do, do, do. Now, mm, all right. 
Boom. And when I do craft beer reviews, I don't like go, wow, this is very exquisite tasting craft beer. It's like, yes, I don't use fancy words. Just go with my gut and what my gut says. So gut instinct. That, that'll never lie to you. So, all right. Um, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live. Uh, as I was going to remind everybody, this blogcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast. Uh, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live, YouTube. Um, plus I want to say hi to everybody watching in the uh, Sarnia Port Elgin group, Sarnia Rocks, uh, Chain Reaction, um, uh, all the pop culture, classic, uh, retro, nostalgia groups, um, all the classic rock, hair metal, Van Halen groups, craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, sci-fi, uh, pro wrestling groups, all the blog groups, all the classic TV and movies, and Magnum PI. So I know you're out there. Say hello. Um, all right. So we get to our like uh, earlier this like uh, um, it was just last Saturday, October first, that we lost a pro wrestling, a Japanese pro wrestling legend. Uh, where is he on here? So Antonio Inoki. And so, all right, so, mm, mm, all right, um, yes, this guy right here, all right, mm, all right, there's, there's Mr. Antonio Inoki, um, there he is in his wrestling days, um, all right, mm, so, all right, so he uh, passed away uh, Saturday, October 1st, 2022, at the age of 79 in Tokyo, Japan. He had, like, a great pro wrestling career from 1960 to 2013. Um, he wrestled for New Japan Pro Wrestling, Tokyo Pro Wrestling, uh, one time in WCW um, at the uh, at, uh, God, Clash of the Champions pay-per-view or... He he wrestled only one match against like uh, do, 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 Lord Stephen Regal. Um, now his major feuds were with like uh, hmm, Andre the Giant. Uh, he had a Ric Flair, um, um, Luthez, Bob Backlund, Bobby Duncan, Tiger G Singh, the Great Antonio, the Great Sashley, Giant Silva. Um, and he also had like a political career too. Um, he was elected to the Japanese House of Councillors as a member of Parliament in 1989. Um, 2013 to 2019, he uh, was uh, a Japanese Upper House Member of Parliament. Um, now this guy has tons of championships. Um, uh, he he was inducted in the class of. Uh, he was inducted into the Luthez Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame in 2005. He was a New Japan Pro Wrestling Champion, one-time heavyweight champion, one-time tag team champion, uh, NWA, one-time Texas heavyweight champion, one-time Texas tag team champion, UWA, one-time heavyweight champion. Um, WCW put them in their Hall of Fame in 1995. Uh, when the WWF was known as the WWWF, he was a two-time world martial arts champion. Uh, WWE inducted him into their 2010 Hall of Fame class. He was inducted by the legendary Stan Hansen. Um, he was also he also faced Muhammad Ali in a boxing match, June 26, 1976, in Tokyo, Japan. A match that ended in a draw, 3-3. Um, it um, December 31st, 2003, was Inoki's final match against. Uh, Tatsumi Fujinami. Um, now, hmm. he officially retired from pro wrestling uh, April 4th, 1998. And here's to the legend Antonio Inoki. It's a five bell salute for Antonio Inoki. All right. There you go. Um, yeah. So. I posted more of his matches and interviews on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. 
look for it. Um, there you go. So, anyways, let me put these back. All right. Fuck. Okay. So. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, who do you train? Uh, Brian Adams. Train Brian Adams. Train the great Muda. Um, <coughs> all right. So, hmm. it is the great Antonio Inoki. So, all right. Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? Hmm. All right. Great, great, great. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So, hmm. All right. Hmm. 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 Mm. Mm. <clears throat> the cigar keeps going out. So anyways, yeah. Um, the Mr. Antonio Inoki, I posted more of his matches, a couple of his matches and interviews on my Facebook page and blogcast page. Tribute to a legend, Mr. Antonio Inoki who uh, passed away uh, October, Saturday, October 1st, uh, age 79 in Tokyo, Japan. Oh. All right. So, yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. This is Big Jim Vlogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 234. Um, Sunday, October 9th, 2022. We're in the middle of a Thanksgiving long weekend. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. It's our last long weekend for 2022. We've got a nice craft beer going tonight. I've, it's accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, mm, mm. Oh yeah. It is called mm, All right. It is called Another Round Light Lager. And I got their three sheets brewing. Uh, it's another round light lager. It's brewed by Three Sheets Brewing Company, association with the Saugeen Golf Club. Three Sheets Brewing is in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. Trying this beer for the very first time on this blogcast. Mm. Gotta say, it's a great beer. Um, it's a spring, summer, and fall beer. It's good for on the golf course. It's good for actually on the back deck with your buddies. Barbecue beer. Good barbecue beer. And, um, mm, mm. It's a do again. Yeah. So I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here, uh, if you want to throw out a number by that time, see if it matches up with mine, please feel free. But yeah, we got a great beer here. Another round light lager by the so in association with the Soggy Golf Club Blue, brewed by Three Sheets Brewery in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada, which I had the pleasure of visiting this past summer. So, all right. Mm, okay. So, all right. Mm. So, yeah, now we get to our hockey card hero. All right. Okay. All right, we've got our hockey card hero for tonight, Mr. Kyle Brodziak. All right, there we go. There's his, like, uh, uh, hockey card. There's his stats on the back. Mm, there he is with the Oilers jersey on there. Now, he was born May 25th, 1984, in St. Paul, uh, Alberta, Canada, 6'2", 209 pounds. Um, mm, so his junior career, drafted fourth overall in the 1999 WHL BAM draft by the Moose Jaw Warriors. He debuts at number 15 um, in the final um, two games of the ninth uh two games of the 1999-2000 season. By the following two seasons, he scores 10 games, 10 goals in uh, 129 games. Now, the 2003-02-03 season, he scores 32 times. Um, he's named Moose Jaw's hardest working hockey player of all time. So, 2003 NHL entry draft, the uh, Oilers... Drafted him 20, he is drafted by the 214th overall by the Edmonton Oilers. 2003-04 season, he attends the Oilers training camp but returns to Moose Jaw when 
his high level of, where his high level of play continued. He was named to the CHL All Star team and the WHL East First All Star team. So, um, good, good. I see already people are already throwing out some numbers there. Great, good. Uh, now his pro career, June 14, 2004, he uh, signed a three year entry level contract with the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, 2004 05 season. He debuts with the Oilers AHL team, the Edmonton Roadrunners. After the old Roadrunners teams folds and shuts down, he played for the Dallas Stars AHL team, the Iowa Stars. He was recalled to the Edmonton Oilers for five games, but then reassigned to the uh, minor leagues and recalled to the Oilers. Um, mm, Oilers in the 2005 6 season. 2006-07 season, he plays for the Pittsburgh Penguins AHL Scranton Penguin Penguins. He was called back up to the Oilers, playing six games. He scored his first NHL goal on March 17, 2007. June 27, 2009, he was traded to the Minnesota Wild. Uh, February 19, 2012, he signs a three-year contract extension with the Wild. July 2, 2015, he signs like a one-year contract with the St. Louis Blues. 2017-2018 uh, season, he, get, he amasses 10 goals, 23 assists in 81 games. July 1st, 2018, he signs a two-year, $2.3 million call, dollar contract with the Oilers. He gets six goals, nine points in 70, 70 games. But 2019-2020 season, um, his career, chronic back injuries would end his career, and he was placed on long-term injured reserve. The Detroit Red Wings bought his like, contract, so... Um, and, but he has, like, uh, then since retired. So, this is your hockey card, card hero, Kyle Brodziak. Um, now I posted several of his highlights and his game highlights, uh, and interviews on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. This is your hockey card hero, Kyle Brodziak. So, all right. And he does hit hard. Holy shit. Um, all right. So, Okay. All right, so, okay, hmm, hmm, all right, so, boom. Hmm, all right, hmm, 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 all right, so, I gotta relight this baby again, so, I'll hang on here. Mm. All right. So, mm. all right. Ah. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. All right. Mm. <clears throat> All right, good cigar. I got it from the uh, Riverfront Cigar in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada, right out on the outskirts of Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Mm. All right, so anyways, yeah. Thank you for watching Big Jim Blogcast Live, uh, episode 234, version 4.0, and it, it is Thanksgiving weekend, Sunday, October 9th, 2022. Um, I've got my craft beer accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. You can see that right there. Mm. Mm. The craft beer for tonight. Oh, yeah. So I'll top it up. Um, mm. All right. It is called Another Round Light Lager. Um, it is brewed by Three Sheets Brewing Company in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada, in association with the Soggy and Golf Club. Um, mm. Damn good light beer. Um, Got to say, I'm impressed so far. No unpleasant aftertaste. Goes down really smoothly. Um, it's a spring, summer, and fall beer. It's definitely a golf course beer. And it's good good for, like, on the deck, your, your back deck with your, your buddies and barbecuing. Mm. So, um, I do throw, rate it out of 10. I do give it a rating later on in the blog cast. So, if you're still here, you can throw it a number, see if it matches up with mine. I see that already. Already, people have like thrown out some numbers all, all, so far. So, all right. 
want to remind everybody that this blogcast isn't spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too. I do have my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube, on YouTube. I um, want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin group, especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Chain Reaction. Glenn, you guys really rock. Chain Reaction really rocks. Give us a great time every time we see them. Um, so, um, yeah, and all the, uh, all the, like, uh, pop culture groups, all the retro classic nostalgia groups, um, the classic rock, hair metal, Van Halen groups out there, the craft beer, cigars, sci-fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, Blogspot, TV and classic TV and movies, uh, Magnum PI. Thank you for watching. So, yeah. All right. Um, okay. Boom. All right, some gong action there. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right, so anyways, <laughs> all right. So we get to our classic, like, uh, mm. our classic hair metal band, uh, our classic CD called Poison, look what the cat dragged in, all right. So your first reaction to this is like, um, oh, well, all right. Who didn't want to, like, uh, fuck the chicks in Poison? All right, but you realize they were dudes. So here's another picture of them, Poison. They are a guilty little pleasure. Um, now, look what the cat dragged in. Was released May 23rd, 1986 through Enigma Records. This is the first studio album by the glam metal band Poison. So this, it, it's their debut, actually. Now, it was produced by Rick Browd. Um, he has worked, produced albums by Ted Nugent, Wasp, Faster Pussycat, Jet Boy, Kills for Thrills. Um, engineered by Michael Wagner, too. Michael Wagner, um, he's worked with, like, Dawkins, Megadeth, Metallica, Skid Row, Scorpions. What the hell is he doing on this record? But anyways, the band. All right. Brett Michaels on... Is the lead singer rhythm guitar? CC De CC Deville is on lead guitar. Bobby Dahl on bass. Ricky Rocket on drums. So, all right. Here's the front and here's the back. Looks like a. It looks like it. It looks like a uh, an explosion in a Maybelline factory, don't you think so? <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah, you open this up. Um, and there's more. Um, oh yeah. Okay. Well, wait a minute. There's not. It's just just that so there you go there's the back cover um now mm, okay so the songs side one cry tough i want action i won't forget you play dirty look what the cat dragged in talk dirty to me want some need some blame it on you number one bad boy let me go to the show um all right so Look what the cat dragged in was recorded at Music Grinder Studios in Hollywood in 12 days for a total of $23,000. That was mostly like contributions through family and friends of the band. Um, Cry Tough was the first single, but it bombed. So, but the follow-up single, Talk Dirty to Me, exploded. It became a smash hit. Um, it went like, uh, um, hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it was a surprise, surprise smash hit. Like, uh, mm. Mm. and it helped uh, "Talk Dirty to Me" like uh, become a surprise smash album, peaking at number nine on the Billboard Hot 100. Uh, putting the album uh, went up, the album went all the way to number three on the U.S. Billboard 200. Um, yeah, like I said, making the album a surprise smash hit. Uh, "Talk Dirty to Me" was followed up by the third single, "I Want Action." And the fourth single, I Power Ballad, I Won't Forget You. Uh, they were they became hit singles in their in themselves. By 1990, the, the album would sell over three million copies. Um, but random thoughts on this: um, the album they give thanks. Like I said, this is Poison's first album, and they give thanks uh, to um, do, 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 uh, their families, of course. They're, this album is dedicated to our families and friends who believed in us when nobody did. Uh, 
Rob Jones did the front cover photography, makeup, uh, Scar Patty and Rosa, Elaine Offers and Timmy Ventrella, logo, who designed the logo? Jerry Lynn Wilhelm. So it was interesting who gave who they gave thanks to on here, Dave Marshall. Uh, okay, uh, the Troubadour, um, Vicki Hamilton, who first supported them, Kim Fowley, um, Guitar Center, Guitars Are Us. So there you go. There's um, Rick Browd and Poison hated working with each other. Uh, fun fact, Slash of Guns N' Roses almost joined Poison. Holy shit. Um, now, there was a common thread with uh, Miss Loretta Lynn and Poison. Does anybody get... Now, a bit of trivia also here. Like you think, like I mean, these two would never meet up in, in any world so far, but um, Loretta Lynn was absolutely became a fan of Poison after hearing "Every Rose Has Its Thorn," which would be on the later album, and uh, jammed with Brett Michaels in the band. I, I don't have that like video, but uh, yeah, she became like a fan of the band uh, after hearing "Every Rose Has Its Thorn." So, um, yeah. So this became a surprise. Look where the cat dragged in. Became a surprise uh, smash hit. Rick Browd um, didn't take a royalty point off of it. He just accepted a flat fee for, I think, uh, I, I would believe it would be like five grand, a flat, a flat fee. Uh, in the interviews, he regretted his decision, but you don't know. You, nobody knows if like this will turn out to be a dud or, or a smash hit. Profit points and royalty points, I'll quickly explain what those are. Like, you accept a flat fee for your work on an album like this. You just take the five, take five grand, accept it, no royalty points. But if you do get royalty points, you will be making money off this, uh, off this band for years to come. As a producer or a songwriter. So, um, yeah. So, so, anyways, but he didn't think this band would like go anywhere so it was regretfully um you know so i i didn't i first impressions like if i was offered to like uh, produce poison um yeah some throwaway glam metal band didn't go anywhere but i'd be kicking myself if i didn't take a royalty point mm. Mm. all right and i posted Several interviews of that era, from like I posted the videos, talk dirty to me, um, I want action, I won't forget you on my Facebook page, my blogcast page. Um, what else were they going to say? Was there filler on this album? Of course there was. Let me go to the show. Number one, Bad Boy, uh, Play Dirty. Those were filler songs. So, um, but yeah, uh, this is your like uh, hair metal classic. Uh, I like Poison, so soundtrack, you know, to, to my life, a little bit like that. So, but yeah, look for Talk Dirty to Me, uh, I Want Action, and look, or um, I Won't Forget You on my blogcast page, my Facebook page, plus several interviews with the band um, talking about uh, Look What the Cat Dragged In. They do. It, it looks like an explosion in a Maybelline factory. Like, look at that. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Um, I'll forget you, baby. All right. So, there we go. Mm. All right. Mm. All right. All right. So, my cigar keeps going out. Mm. 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 All right. Uh, mm. Mm. All right. <laughs> all right so anyways yeah all right hmm this is big jim blogcast live uh version 4.0 episode 234 it is sunday october 9th um uh 2022 we're in the middle of like a thanksgiving long weekend happy thanksgiving everybody um it uh the last long weekend of 2022 hmm 
I've got a good cigar going. It is um, a Rocky Patel Vintage Connecticut Cigar. Uh, plus, mixing that with like uh, Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. 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 And our craft beer for tonight, it is called mm, Another Round Light Lager. Another Round, there you go. And look how clear that is. It is brewed by the Three Sheets Brewing Company in Port Elgin, Ontario, in association with the Sogging Golf Club. And I'm trying it for the very first time on this blogcast. So, mmm. Mmm. Over 200 craft beers reviewed. Nobody else can say that in the world. I challenge people to say that they've, they've, they, they, they've tasted and tried over 200 craft beers. So, anyways, yeah. Anyways, uh, this goes down really easy. There's no unpleasant aftertaste to it. It's suitable. It's a good spring, summer, and fall beer. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's good on the golf course, of course. Um, and uh, on the back, on your on your deck with, like, a barbecue with your buddies. So, mm. I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So, if you're still here, um, throw it a number. See if it matches up with mine. Mm. 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 All right, you keep that pie. That pie, pies. Nobody belong. Nobody, nobody should get that pie but me. I've got chocolate cream pie waiting for me. My favorite kind of pie uh, from from an earlier dinner. Um, right on. So, anyways, um, yeah. So, <laughs> fuck. Mm. All right. Ooh. All right. So, anyways, uh, all right. So, we move on. Um, hmm. Now, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0, episode 234. Uh, this blogcast is not spam. As I reminded everybody tonight, and I'll remind them again, uh, we're not spam. We are definitely not spam. Uh, the audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, all these audio listening platforms you listen to your podcast. Plus, uh, YouTube, my, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Podcast Live at YouTube. Um, there you go. Um, and, uh, yeah, I wanted to say hi, give shouts out to everybody watching in the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, especially Sarnia Rocks, Michelle, you guys rock. Um, Chain Reaction, the best band, aside from 10 Seconds Over Tokyo, um, the best band, like, uh, great ass-kicking rock band uh, in Sarnia and in the area. All the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups. Um, crap. All the like uh, hair metal, uh, classic rock, Van Halen groups, all the craft beer, cigars, sci-fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, blog spot, all the blog groups, all the classic TV and movies, Magnum P.I. And so, yeah, you guys rock. So, as we move on, we get into Rockstar plane crashes here. Now, hmm, we've got, well, here's a plane. Now, here's your mid Rockstar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. That's what I forgot. All right. Now, if you're familiar with this guy, John Denver. All right. So, bad idea to be like, uh, you know. All right. So, John Denver. Um, there we go. If you're not familiar with John Denver, Rocky Mountain High, uh, Thank God I'm a Country Boy, um, Annie Song, Take Me Home, Country Roads, it would be in just this, in a few days in 1997, October 12th, John Denver at age 53 dies in a plane crash while piloting a light plane he bought, and he had like, uh, um, it was an experimental plane, he had Here's the thing, you had a revoked pilot's license. Now, all right, so let's say you've got Mr. John Denver and, and this airplane. So, all right, so um, now Denver had bought an experimental Rutan uh, uh, easy plane made by somebody else from a kit. Bad idea, very, very bad idea. Um, John Denver was an experienced pilot with over 2,700 hours of experience, but he was not legally permitted to fly at the time of his crash because he had a number of drunk driving arrests in previous years. 
So it, it ain't looking good. This is like drunk driving, uh, revoked pilot's license, doesn't look good for John Denver. Now, in 1996, the FAA uh, learned that uh, Denver had failed to stay sober and stay away from alcohol, so they revoked his, like, uh, certification. So, but his accident was not influenced by alcohol use. Uh, leading cause of accident was John Denver couldn't switch fuel tanks during flight. Now, Denver, the witnesses to the crash say the plane was headed west. The plane's altitude was between 350 and 500 feet off the Monterey Bay cliffs. And witnesses heard a loud pop or backfire with the plane when it suddenly went in a steep nosedive into the rocky coastline. <coughs> oh, God. So it went like, yeah, here we go. We're taking off. Oh, my God. <coughs> it went down into the coastline, off a cliff into the coastline, smashing the plane into bits. Um, John Denver, well, there was no more John Denver. He had to be scooped up. I'm not kidding you. He had to be scooped up in little baggies. He was only identified through his dental records. Um, it was just the most grossest, disgusting thing you've ever heard of. So, and here's another picture of him. Mr. Thumbs Up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fuck. All right. As much as I am a fan of these celebrities, I'll never get on an airplane with any of them. So, but, um, yeah. All right. So, yeah. And that like, I, I'm serious when they said, like, when they had to, like, identify the body, they scooped him up and put him in little baggies, all, all of him, because it was, it was that, just splat. <coughs> you know when an egg lands on cement, you throw it, splat. Fuck, you get the picture anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, um, so the plane went, like, okay, here's my fist, there's a cliff, um, all right. And here we go. Ooh, boom! Bang! <coughs> oh, excuse me. And it was game over for John Denver. So, and I posted more of the crash on my Facebook page and my blogcast page, plus a few videos from John Denver, Rocky Mountain High, on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So, all right. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. All right. Mm. <coughs> All right. There we go. Um, yeah. If you're here, whoo, gotta slow it down there for a minute. Got a bit excited. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, good cigar. It's like a Rocky Patel Connecticut Vintage from the Riverfront Cigar Company in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Um, all right, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0, episode 234, Sunday, October 9th, 2022. We are in the midst of a Thanksgiving long weekend. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody in Canada. Um, if you're watching this from any part of other than Canada, like the rest of the world, or in the States, Canada has its long weekend Thanksgiving this weekend. So, um, yeah, so happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I've had enough food to last me a lifetime. Um, great, two great dinners. This, got to give props to the, uh, yeah, to the people, to Lauren who put on a great dinner, and then to, like, uh, mm, Abby and Shayla who put on a great dinner. So, great, great dinners. So, yeah. You guys rock. Um, this blogcast, I'm going to remind everybody this blogcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, all these audio listening platforms, plus my YouTube channel, YouTube Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube. I um, want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, especially Sarnia Rocks, Michelle, you guys rock, A Chain Reaction, Glenn, great band, uh, always a good time. Uh, Plus all the like uh, retro classic nostalgia groups, pop culture groups, all the classic rock, hair metal, Van Halen groups, all the crap beer, cigars, uh, Star Wars, Star sci-fi groups, uh, pro wrestling, the blog groups, um, 
classic TV and movies, the Magnum PI groups, you guys rock. So, yeah, um, we're not spam. Um, like us, look for us, share us all over Facebook if you want to. Mm. All right. <coughs> all right, great. So, okay. Tonight's craft beer, and I'm chasing it down with, like, Crown Royal Vanilla. Maybe I'll just add a few more. Yeah. All right. All right. There we go. Add in. All right. Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, all right. Mm. 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 All right. Tonight's craft beer, and I'm going to top it up. Trying it for the very first time on this blogcast. Um, it is called... Ah, another round, light lager, another round. It is brewed by the Soggy Golf, or brewed by Three Sheets Brewery in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada, in association with Soggy Golf Club. Mm. I had the pleasure of visiting Three Sheets Brewery um, in Port Elgin this last, just this past summer. Great little brewery. Um, great beer. Oh my God! And I got their their glass. Um, mm. Yeah, um, it is a great spring and summer and fall beer. Suitable, well, you got to suitable for the golf course, of course. It is great. No unpleasant aftertaste. Go down smoothly. Uh, good back deck beer with your buddies when you're barbecuing. And I do give it a rating out of 10, so um, when I do, I uh, throw out a number, which I see some people have, ha have done that already. Um, yeah, so stick around. Oh, yeah, great beer. All right, so, mm. all right, mm. okay, boom, all right, mm. Mm. <coughs> all right, so, mm. okay, mm. all right, yeah, it's good for fishing, too. All right, yeah. Holy shit. Thank you for throwing that out there, Susan. It is good for... It's a good fishing beer, too. Um, you know what? You crack... You're just re reeling in like a... Uh, you're on one of your fishing trips. You're reeling in like the big one. You know? Hey, got to gotta take this one. All right. You got a can of this. You're reeling it in. Let's go. Come on. Mm, all right. Yeah, good for fish. Right on. Yes. Yes. Thank, thank you for that. All right, all right. So, all right. So, mm. <coughs> all right. Now we get to my most favorite time in the broadcast. Mm. It is. Would you prefer the color or the uh, black and white version? All right. It is time for. This week in Van Halen history, and we cover October 3rd to October 9th. There we go. All right, October 3rd, 1980, Van Halen play the Rushton Plaza in Rapid City, Dakota, South Dakota. October 3rd, 1981, Van Halen play the Lloyd Noble Center in Norman, Oklahoma. October 3rd, 1985, Van Halen play the Myriad in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. October 3rd, 2007, Van Halen play the... Uh, Wachovia Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, October 4th, 2015. Van Halen played their final last show ever at the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles, California. October 4th, 1986, Van Halen played the uh, Frank Ir C. Irwin Jr. Special Events Center in Austin, Texas. October 4th, 1988, Van Halen played the Starwood Amphitheater in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, October 5th, 1996, Van Halen are presented with an outstanding contribution to, to music award uh, in music uh, at the Foundation Forum at the Palladium in Hollywood, California. Sad time. Um, all right. Um, very, very sad time. Uh, this guy, October 6, 2020, Eddie Van Halen unfortunately passes away from a battle with cancer at St. John's Hospital in Santa Monica, California. By his side were his wife, Jan Janie Van Halen, ex-wife Valerie Bertinelli, brother Alex Van Halen, 
son, uh, Wolfgang Van Halen. Uh, yeah, sorry. That, you know, sad time there. Um, October 6th, 1995, Van Halen plays the Blockbuster Pavilion in Phoenix, Arizona. October 7th, 1981, Alex Van Halen is interviewed on KLQ, KLAQ Radio in El Paso, Texas. El Paso, Texas, before a Van Halen show there. October 7th, 1978, Van Halen plays the Music Hall in Hamburg, Germany. October 8th, 1991, Van Halen plays the Cumberland County Civic Center in, uh, in, in Maine. October 9th, 1984, David Lee Roth leaves on a vacation to New Guinea. October 9th, 1981, Van Halen plays the Civic Center in Providence, Rhode Island. So, yes, um, it was... All right, it's a sad time. Um, all right, and that is all for this week in Van Halen history. It was a sad time um, just this past, it was two years ago, October 6, 2020, the greatest guitarist in the world passed away from cancer. Um, we give him a five bell salute. All right. Mr. Eddie Van Halen, uh, the greatest guitarist in the world. Um, farewell to the king. So, um, yeah. So, anyways. All right. And that is all for this week in Van Halen history. All right. Give a salute to Mr. Uh, Van Halen. You know, cheers. Mm. All right. So, uh, tonight's craft beer... Chasing it down with Crown Royal Vanilla um, is another round light lager. I'll just top this up. Another round. It's a light lager. All right. So topping that up there. Um, I'm going to give it a rating out of, out of 10 later on, like in probably about five minutes' time. Um, mm. This is brewed by the Three Sheets Brewing Company in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. In association with the Sogging Golf Club. Um, yeah, good for fishing on your fishing trip. Spring, summer, fall beer. Goes down easy, no unpleasant aftertaste. Smooth. Um, so suitable, like uh, when you're out in the back deck with your buddies, uh, barbecuing. And or, yes, it's a beach beer too. Mm. Mm. Yeah, all right. So, all right. And I had the pleasure of visiting Three Sheets Brewery in Port Elgin this past summer. Great staff. Uh, very, very knowledgeable. Um, here's the other thing. I've tried over, I've tasted and sampled over 200 craft beers on my blog casts. Okay. I challenge anybody out there who um, I think, if you've tried over 200 craft beers, you let me know. Okay. So. All right, that being said, I um, want to remind everybody, um, mm, all right, mm. Mm. <laughs> all right, so, okay, good, all right, so, anyways, yeah, uh, it I want to this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0 episode 234 Sunday October 9th 2022 um, what do we got here I'm just looking at like a notification um, all right so yeah uh, we are in the middle of a Thanksgiving long weekend in Canada to the rest of the world watching um, Canada has a long uh, or we have our long weekends. Um, it is the last long weekend of the summer. Mm. All right. So, mm. all right, what do we got here? Okay. So, yeah. Um, it uh, This broadcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live, YouTube. Um, and all these audio listening platforms you listen to your podcast to. Again, we are not spam. So give shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, um, especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Chain Reaction. Um, Rust, or, uh, 
uh, 10 Seconds Over Tokyo, Chain Reaction, Glenn McKinnon, you guys are a kick-ass band. Um, all the retro classic uh, nostalgia pop culture groups, all the uh, hair metal, classic rock, Van Halen groups, craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, sci-fi groups, pro wrestling, all the blog groups, all the classic TV and movies, and the Magnum PI TV gr groups, too. So, yeah, I want to give you guys an inspirational, motivational quote now. Um, work while they sleep, learn while they party, save while they spend, and live like they dream by unknown. Again, work while they sleep, learn while they party, save while they spend, and live like they dream. So there you go. That's our our inspirational, motivational quote for tonight. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Good cigar. Got it from the, like, uh, it is a Rocky Patel Connecticut cigar, vintage. Um, Riverfront Cigars in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Mm. All right, so. All right, so anyways, um, I'm going to rate the beer. I'm going to give it my final thoughts. It is accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, all right, so. Mm. Mm. All right, and make sure you guys, anybody out there, pick up the, this, the Growler. It's your Ontario Craft Beer Guide. $3 anywhere at your like, uh, local LCBO liquor store or uh, craft brewery. So it's got like over, let's see. Mm. Um, it covers Toronto to north northwestern Ontario. Um, yeah, so there it is, the Growler. Make sure you pick that up. Um, all right, so. All right, I'm just going to top this up. Ooh. This is another round by the Sogging Golf Club, brewed by the Three Sheets Brewing Company in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. Mm. My final thoughts on this. Um, now, it goes down smoothly. There's no unpleasant aftertaste. Um, smooth beer, light. Uh, good for fishing trips. It's good for, like, uh, on the golf course, of course. Out in the back deck with uh, your buddies barbecuing. It's a good sport beer, good beach beer, um, and mm, 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 yeah. So, anyways, I gotta I gotta type in a number here. So, all right. So, um, okay. Well, I'm gonna. Mm, mm. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Mm. Hmm. All right. So let me switch over there. Okay. Hmm. All right. So. Hmm. All right. There we are. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay. Nine out of ten, people. I gave it a nine out of ten. So, there we go. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Nine out of ten. So, oh no, you're not eating my pie. God, uh, no way, no way in hell. So, no way. Um, yep, nine out of ten. Great job, guys. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Nine out of ten. Now I've got to, like, uh, let's see here. I'll inform them. Hmm. 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 All 
All right, so. Hmm, all right, okay. Inform them. Great, good. All right. So, yeah, 9 out of 10. Um, great beer. Um, like I said, suitable. Yeah, fishing trips, barbecues, the beach. Um, great tasting. No one, no unpleasant aftertaste. Goes down smooth. Mm. Definitely a do-over. Next time I'm running around that area, I will pick up, like, an, another round uh of light uh, of this beer great beer um all right so okay so a lot of you okay have been asking me about t-shirts and all that so um <clears throat> all right so doo -doo -doo. now if you want t-shirts like mine like this all right or plain white t-shirt uh let me get them here um all right, with the logo, plain white T-shirt. There we go. There it is. Um, mm. Or baseball jersey type. Um, mm. Okay, on the front and on the back. Um, or in any size, any like uh, inbox me on Big Jim Blogcast. In my, uh, you can either inbox me. Um, with what you want in a t-shirt um, on uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live or my regular Facebook page and tell me what you want, the size, the design. Um, they are 35 bucks a pop. That is shipping and handling included. It's four to six weeks for delivery. I can't help that. So, all right. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, yeah. Hmm. Mm. Alright. Mm. 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 <coughs> All right, what do we got here? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, the t shirts. They are 35 bucks a pop. That's shipping and handling included. You just email me on my blogcast page or my regular Facebook page with like what you want. Uh, um, and I will do my best to get that out to you. Cash or no, money order, e-transfer. Um, and yeah, it takes four to six weeks for delivery. So uh, that's shipping and handling included. Um, so yeah, there you go. Mm. all right so yeah um okay so mm, all right all right people that's it for me this is big gin Blogcast live version 4.0 episode 234 sunday october 9th 2022 happy thanksgiving everyone enjoy the rest of your long weekend um another round light lager uh nine out of ten by the Three Sheets Brewing Company in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. Um, happy birthday shout outs Astrid Ashley, Crystal Bavensky, Janet Camisso, Theresa Gregg, Kirk Chris Valenga, Brad Harris, Dana Burke Johnson, Joanne Fryer, Ingrid Lightbody, Jen Marsh, Mark Curry, John White, Joy Smith, Melanie Reed Langlois, Corey Gauthier, Megan O'Dwyer. We did Coal Miner's Daughter by Loretta Lynn. Our Loretta Lynn tribute, Maggie P.I., Season 6. Dr. Evazon and Pondo Baba from Star Wars, the late great uh, pro wrestling legend Antonio Inoki, our hockey card hero Kyle Brodziak, our classic album Poison, Look What the Cat Dragged In, our rock star Plane Crashes, John Denver, This Week in Van Halen History, our inspirational motivational quote, Work While They Sleep, Learn While They Party, Save Where They Spend, Save While They Spend, Live Like They Dream, and that's by Unknown. Um, we rated the beer. Uh, you may or may not see me next weekend, but uh, we're not spam. We go out on all these audio listening platforms, in, uh, including like YouTube, my own channel. Shouts out to everybody watching the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, 
uh, chain reaction, pop culture, retro classic nostalgia, classic rock, hair metal, uh, Van Halen groups, the craft beer cigars, sci-fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling groups, the blog spot groups, TV and movies, uh, Magnum PI. So that's it for me. Cheers, everybody. Uh, be good. And I will see you next weekend. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy it. Uh, enjoy it while it lasts. Some of us have to go to work tomorrow. Some of us don't. It's the last long weekend of 2022. And see you next weekend. Cheers, everybody. Ahem. <clears throat>